thank you mr uh, mr frank and uh, mr siddharth for being here to start off with we would like to know more about imd bio what does imd bio do all right so uh thank you first of all for the interview um myself i'm uh, frank indinia um i'm from belgium originally um i'm the ceo of uh, imd bio group um I, i'm living in thailand bangkok for over 20 years and i was actually the previous owner of uh, inve aquaculture now owned by benchmark and um, so therefore i can uh, easily say we have a good knowledge of artemia for over 20 years now uh, on this one uh, we started inv bio uh, in uh, the beginning of 2013 with my business partner uh, luk van ivenhoven uh who is also an ex inve uh managing director and is the creator actually and the patent holder of our system our uh, knowledge that we have into inve bio um we started in uh, thailand to see how the product would react with the customers and then the first uh, facility that we did outside our country was in uh, india together with uh, the ready family uh, here we started to produce here in 2017 right and uh, so far uh, very successful now one of the chief product of uh, imb bio is live artemia yeah. can you explain what it is about well i always start with the same question to everyone and uh, i started to say who likes to hatch artemia to every hatchery manager Well, I don't think you will find five people uh, who, who really loves this to do this every day because it's a headache. It's a headache for everyone. If it's now in Asia or in Latin America or Europe, it's a daily operation. You have to manage 24 hours up front to make uh, Atimia alive to later on then give to your own uh, PL son. So with IMV Bio, we try to find a way. How can we now help the industry? How can we help the the hatchery managers and the hatchery people is not by selling a new artemia can with new uh, technology how to hatch it better how to hatch without light or how to hatch uh, with the separation techniques and so on we said no we will believe you a uh, ready to feed live artemia no headache anymore what about the advantages is that a hatchery manager can clearly calculate and manage their feeding regime because you know exactly how many nopli you have you don't have to guess anymore uh, did i buy a can of 70% or was it actually a 50% hatching or so on so so there are no worries no mistakes anymore what you buy was what you get this the certain so the life uh, uh feeding of artemia the, the life product makes them easier easier life but also more secure because we bring something that is not only easy to to use you are ready to feed but it's and that's i think still the biggest um uh, advantage what we bring to the hatcheries it's completely vibrio free nobody in the world can deliver this a live atemia that is completely vibrio free and i think that's one of our most uh, important uh, selling points that we can bring to the hatchery today so what is the uniqueness of uh, this live atemia when you compare to traditional atemia atemia is atemia uh there is in in uh in aspect no difference the only difference is that we uh deliver a product that is live but also all in the range of insta 1 if you have to hatch atemia by yourself you have to monitor when you have to harvest and if you're a little bit late you have maybe 60% insta 1 and you have 40% uh, insta 2 Now you know if they from the moment they go to insta two, they are bigger, but they lose nutrition because they use their own nutrition to grow. So whatever you bought, you have already less uh, nutrition that you give to your PL. So there we guarantee it's instant one. It's vibrio free. It's clean. You will not find one uh, empty shell or a full cyst in it. So it's clean, and then. also compared to the the traditional uh, hatching methods uh, is that when you hatch a timing by yourself 
you will use nets and so on. And the, the, the animals, the Atemia animals are damaged because they have to go through the net. Our uh, Atemia, we don't use nets. It's all free flowing and so on. And you can clearly see if under a microscope, all the Atemia nuclei are intact. And that's also very important. I mean, you don't lose any energy. There's no leakage of, an, of a, a broken uh, wing or whatever. It's pure, nice, clean biomass. That's, a big, that's an advantage. Now, for example, another uh, chief problem over here in, uh, for the hatcheries is preserving the SPF status. Yeah. Um, with live Atemia, how do you ensure that they get an SPF? Uh, well, uh, we, we do three testings. We do a daily testing uh, with agar plate on the Vibrio. This is what we do daily, in-house. Yeah. Then, beside that, we have a real-time PCR, where we check all the different uh, viruses uh, on a daily basis. Yeah. So, this is all daily available on certificate from us to the, the customer, that it's all free of uh, those uh, diseases. Beside that, and there's a third one, on a monthly basis, we give uh, samples to a third party to be to just justify to uh, customers. Look, it's not our internal lab, but it's a third party. Third party also that guarantee Vibrio free, uh, pathogen free of all the known diseases and so on and so on. So that's what we do as a as a service to each uh, customer actually. And even before importing, it's tested uh, overseas. For example, wherever we're importing, it's tested there, certificates are issued, and after coming to India, again it's retested again, reconfirmed, and then only it's allowed to come to the facility. So a lot of care is taken care, and all these are done by, according to the government norms. Yeah, so it's completely safe. Uh, with live Artemia, the other issue is the distance of a hatchery facility from your production facility. Uh, what is the distance that you can cater to? Well, uh, if I may talk about general, we, we look first on uh, what is the transport cost and so on, and uh, we, we see what's possible. But more uh, related to India, I think today uh, they can deliver from Kakinada until uh, Chennai without, without any obstruction. Atimia is packed in a uh, sealed, then in, a, in another bag, completely sealed off uh, um, and then put in ice boxes. As long as it is cool with ice, they will stay in a dormant phase and they will not grow. They will stay in Insta 1 and they can uh, easily kept in that stage for 24 hours without uh, any damage. Uh, yeah, yeah. But we, we, in any way, uh, deliver on a daily basis to each customer uh, without any problem, uh, even some customers, they are delivered twice per day, uh, to be sure. But it's not really necessary. And, uh, of course, IMB Bio is, uh, is more than uh, live Artemia. There would be more products there on your portfolio that you'll be, that you have or you're bringing in. So can you share a few more details about that? I think uh, yeah. you can answer this. Uh, so we're very successful in uh, doing Insta1. The next product is Enriched. So because instead one uh, doesn't have mouth and uh, any system, but for enriched, you can enrich with any product. Like if a customer requests uh, anything to be added in, we can add it in. The second one is uh, diets. So these diets will be uh, tailored to the hatchery segment? Yes. Okay. Hatchery, nursery, hatchery. It can be, we will be developing nursery feed as well. Yeah, it will be the, the full range. Full range. From uh, bio, -encaps uh, uh, bio encapsulated uh, and uh, spray dried until uh, the whole range, until nursery. So these are the plans for the next two years from I and Bio? Yeah, in the next coming months actually, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the, the the embryon, did you say? Yeah, the embryon is also there. The embryon is really also quite unique in the world. It's uh, actually a decapsulated cyst, what most of the hatchery people know. They are not very crazy about it because what is available today in the market is a, a dried decapsulated cyst. Now, a decapsulated cyst means they remove the, the cyst 
and it's just the egg with the, with the membrane around. But they dry it to, to keep it in a can. But from the moment you dry it, the membrane cracks. When you feed it into your tank in water, the nutrition into the, the, the embryo will leach out and your, all your nutrition is gone. Therefore, we keep it fresh, so dry, uh, uh, wet, so the membrane stays intact. You can keep it for 48 hours longer in, in water. You will see there's no leaching, there's no troubling of water. Everything stays clear. So it's the nutrition-wise, so one of the best uh, products that uh, we have, actually. Yeah, but it's, it's an egg. On that note, thank you, Mr. Frank and Mr. Siddharth for taking time off. And uh, once we launch a new product, please let us know so that we can also pass. We will do it for sure. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Sir.